Okay, the wet cloth on the heart symbol. The heart symbol is universally seen as a typical representation of love, especially but not solely of romantic love. It signifies both physical and eternal love. Various cultures throughout ages have associated this symbol with affection, compassion, joy, and, and charity. It is fond of ritualistic use of ceremonies of yore performed in strengthening relationships. The use of this symbol goes far as back as has ever been found on ancient Roman coins, and even further back. In fact, at large, believed to have been derived from the shape of the seed pod of the Silphium, S-I-L-P-H-I-U-M, a herb popular among the Romans as a contraceptive. Contraceptive. Another belief is the symbol originated from the shape of leaves, typically ivy leaves. The Greeks associated ivy with god dialysis. God dialysis. D-I-O-N-Y-S-U-S. Are you getting these words? Are you getting the Romans and the Greek and gods? The god of passion, wine, and other sensual things. <laughs> In the 6th and 5th century B.C., the heart shape was used to represent the heart fruit of the plant Silphium again. And it was a contraceptive possible use. And many species of the parsley family have estrogenic properties you know the word estrogen that comes up quite familiar today some people link the heart symbol as an upside down triangle and associated with the divine feminine power Ooh, whip is whip. the inverted triangle symbolizes water element which make the heart a sign of instinct this psychic perception Psychic presumption, emotional transition, and motion. Are you getting these words? Another symbol closely related to the heart is the wounded or broken heart that shows the heart pierced with Cupid's arrow. You are getting these words. The most common recognized symbol on planet after the cross and the crescent. You mean the cross of Jesus, the crescent of uh, Islam, and the symbol of what we say love. The heart-shaped symbol has represented various things across cultures over different times. Ranging from private parts to pubic parts to cosmic wisdom. You want to open that up before your pulpits? Heart, meanwhile, it's a mysterious organ, you know, that's inside you for the most of the history. And the biological function was not understood until 1628. That's the heart that's inside your chest cavity. Progress towards union and indirect influence by, amongst other matters, herbalism, herbs, heredity, phallus, phallus, you know, phallic symbols of the penis. Uh, towers, rockets, penis symbols that you find in Washington, D.C. and in the Vatican, breast, bullock, uh, bullock, buttock, excuse me, I didn't mean bullock, buttock worship. Philosophers of antiquity, devotions of the Roman Catholic Church, and an introduction to Penny Post. With the famous playing cards and confectionery, sugar. The heart symbol geometric term is a cardioid in common nature. It appears in leaves and flowers of various plants and forms by swans when they touch beaks, by doves as they unfold their wings, by strawberries, cherries, and beetroots in cross section where you cut them in half. And it's suggested by various portions of the human anomaly. Again, that's the breast, the butt, and the pubic areas. The ancient Egyptians. Nee, 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 nee. Egyptian, Greek, Roman. And we ain't done yet. For the first civilization to leave us theory of a purpose. 
It was the part of the body, the heart, the soul, the intelligence of the owner reside. And unlike the other intestinal organs, which were extracted during the process of mummification, the heart was left in the corpse after death. So the goddess Matt, M-A-A-T, might weigh it against the feather of true in the afterlife and punish the heavy hearted. That's the Catholic teaching. Yep, Egyptian. The organ itself portrayed in Egyptian visions are as a scarab or a dung beetle. That's interesting. The Greeks, in the Greek, who depicted ivy and vine leaves representatively the symbol of fidelity and regeneration. Regeneration? Rebirth? Carnal love! You know the letter that Paul wrote to the Corinthians. In contrast, represented by the figure of God, Eros, Cupid, who was usually portrayed as a naked boy armed with bow and arrow. <laughs> We're getting good, aren't we? When Eros wished to curse or bless people with the emotion he ruled, he aimed his dart at the eyes rather than the breast. He didn't aim for the heart first. That came later. Anyway, if you shoot somebody in the heart with an arrow, you're dead. That's what you call lovesick. And they felt its effects through their entire body. <laughs> they did, however, adopt the heart symbol as an icon of the vine. The classic symbol of rebirth. Now, this is the early church. And use it on their tombs of symbolize the hope of resurrection in the days when they were persecuted and their worship was clandestine or clandestine. So, and we do have the early church in the book of Revelation, we do have a church period called uh, Much Marriage. We do have the time of the period when. Constantine came in and said, hey, listen, you bring in our gods, we'll take your gods, and we'll have a mutual of our gods, we'll get all the gods together and have a union of gods during the persecution. Of the Selks, meanwhile, which was re resembled the heart symbol, are thought to represent eternity. And the similar Viking Vagnot, V-A-L-K-N-U-T, design symbolized the power of the god Odin. Induced battle, madness, and warriors. Do you see that? This heart symbol, do you see it's Roman, it's Greek, it's Egyptian, it's Catholic, it's Viking, and it's got representation of their gods. However, these desperate cultures became united under the cross. Also, they developed a common secular iconology. Icon. And the first link between the affliction and the cardioid shape was est was established in the medieval 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 era with the arrival of the concept of courting and romantic love the heart symbol indicated steadfast love for a damsel and deprived from the leaf ivy leaf of classic greece there's a greek who chose to be the, its device and appearance of various colors green blue black and red tell me somebody got beat up and it's found on the shields and banners of knights. And the church fought the world for flesh of the possession of the cardioid. Uh, the church would be the Catholic church. Symbol of definition of love and purpose of the heart of much of the Middle Ages. I, I mean, listen, Catholic church, Viking. I, I mean, this does not belong in our church. It does not belong amongst Christians. Be mad at me. I don't care. By the way, at the end of this report, which you can download on our website, has the list of people I got this information from. These are not my words. And some of these words come from pagan and Wiccan witches and not Stiley Hayward. Okay? This is them saying it, not me. So you get mad at them for me, and you're mad at me for giving you the truth. In the attempts of dominance of the spearhead of the doctrinal revolution, devotions to the sacred heart, which manifests the love of sufferings of Jesus Christ. My aunt had that sacred heart in her house, in her apartment, and grandpa would bring me over there every other week or once a month, and I'd go into her, her living room, her parlor, and scare the fire of a little boy. 
up on the wall. Here is Jesus with his robe open and his heart sticking out. And right below Jesus was Mary, uh, her head and her, her chest, with her heart sticking out. And I only wanted to go in that room to get the Catholic candy. And the Catholic candy was delicious. Freak a little boy out. Uh, female devotees were especially prone to the visions of the divine organ. <laughs> I'll leave that one alone. They were led by Saint Gertrude. Who had a hallucination in the late <laughs> hallucination in the late 13th, 13th century during which she rested her head on the chest of Jesus and heard his heartbeat. Yeah, she was hallucinating all right. She asked John, Saint John, also present in her vision, if he too would enjoy the delightful pulsations, which he embraced Christ at the Last Supper. Saint M-E-C-H-T-I-L-D-E -E. Oh, I can't pronounce I'll spell and M-A-R-G-U-E-R-I-T-E -E. Continue Gertrude's good work They call it good work, I don't And establish the beating heart of Jesus as symbolic for the love he had for mankind yeah, Not the cross I guess some would say Jesus had a big heart you would find that in the Roman Catholic teaching. Sister, well, uh, they call her sister, I don't, but St. Gertrude, Sister Gertrude, the Roman Catholic Church said that Jesus had a good heart. That's where it comes from, Roman Catholicism. For God so loved the world, not the heart, that he gave his only begotten son. Okay? I'm doing this because the church is in great era. The vision icon of the Sacred Heart, I grew up in the Sacred Heart crap. As a Polish Roman Catholic Church, I was involved in the Sacred Heart crap. It scared the fire out of me. Oh, by the way, I can say crap, right? Sacred Heart was developed during the Counter-Reformation. You know, when the Reformation tried to clean up the, the, the Catholic Church, the Sacred Heart came out after the Reformation. Which emphasized parts on Christianity, they have no Christianity, that required faith to imagine. Uh, I think Paul McCarthy then said imagine, I think, wasn't that? The Beatles? Oh, you mean the, the, the Beatles, the dumb beetle, which the Egyptians called the heart. Oh, da, 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 da. Paintings appear showing Christ opening his robe to reveal his heart shaped heart. Yeah, these used to scare the fire out of me in my aunt's house. And are the same, Solo, encircled with a crown of thorns, he don't have no more, and topped with a halo, which he never had, and another crown of gold. Uh, Revelation 19 says he has crowns, plural. The church, Catholic church, developed a mutual doctrine. Crap. The Immaculate Heart of Mary, which symbolized love of mankind for the Savior, encouraged the production of images in which Mary, too, displayed her radiant organ. Sick, gross, especially for a young boy going over auntie's house. By the way, I believe auntie's probably in hell today with the Catholic religion. She was more for the Catholics than she was for the Bible. All right, back. And... 1480, shortly after the appearance of the printing press, Glutenberg's printing press where he, he printed the Bible, the commercial manufacturing of playing cards. We're not supposed to play cards as Christians. That's a game of chance. Oh, Stiley, you're just so strict. You're just so mean. Commence in France. There's a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I used to be a saying I grew up as a little boy. Wee oui, wee. Oui. In the toilet. Printing cards or printed cards use hearts as their second suit instead of cups, representing the Holy Grail, the cup that the Mystery Babylon holds, the golden cup in her hand. So instead of that Mystery Cup of Babylon, you got the heart. This is all documented fact. If you if you don't want to have the documented facts, then you're going to stand wood, hay, and stubble. Where was I? Uh, 
uh, which the Holy Grail, which here too appeared on the hand printed decks. Whilst the hearts and the cards maintain a sacred connection, the four suits were similar to medieval federal estates. The spades, which had been swords, I got a sword, the word of God, symbolized the gentry, the military, hearts, which once was the grails, that holy cup, the clergy, The clergy. The heart represents the clergy. Aren't you glad somebody like Dr. Stolly William Hayward that God says, hey, I want you to print the truth. I want you to get the truth out there. And if you get upset, you're getting upset at the truth. Diamonds spoke for merchants. And the clubs were linked with the agriculture and hence the peasantry, you know, the, 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 the peons. Friend, that, that's Nicolaitanism that God says I hate in the book of Revelation. Check that date out, 1480, with, with the church, and see if it matches the Nicolaitanism. The, 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 the playing cards all represent the hierarchy of the church and the lowarchy of the, of the peasants. And the hearts were the clergy. I just love my pastor. Oh! I clap for that one. People associate a symbol with gambling instead of love, whether for God or vice versa. So go over to Las Vegas and go over to Montville, Connecticut and Foxwoods, Connecticut and Atlantic City and see what the hearts represent for them. Okay. The common people altogether were more suggestive, especially in their icon. The caroid was a symbol of fertility or copulation and sex. <laughs> it evoked breast. Turn your heart upside down and look at it. And look at the woman, the woman's body parts of the chest. A buttocks. Do you realize that if you were to have a woman sit down and make the impression of her sitting down, she would have a representation of the heart shape? Genitalia. We'll get to that one in a moment. And when they came across the likeness, their minds turned to sex. Easter time, Halloween, and we get Easter, and she gets pregnant, and then we get a birthday in December. I will name names if you don't like to study. In Shakespearean England, you know, they celebrate Christmas too without Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's the nicest thing you've ever done for me. Okay. For instance, the placket. Now listen to this. Listen to the placket. P-L-A-C-K-E-T-T. -T. The heart-shaped apron. You know where you find that in the Bible? Oh, for a woman. Oh! With a pocket for her hands. Oh, that's easy. Below the waist was also a slang name for the vagina. You mean a naked woman that reached her hand out and grabbed the fruit. And after she grabbed the fruit and disobeyed God, they made aprons of fig leaf. Such primal views bubbled into higher strata of society during the Renaissance. Eros, or Cupid, who had been restricted by artists as a model of a cherubonic, cherubim, order of angels, required pagan traits. That's not Stiley Hayward saying that. That's evident in the Uffizi, U-F-F-I-Z-I, palace in Florence, 
wear a ceiling decorated for Piero, P I E R O, the unfortunate with new school cherubs show Netonic, e N E T E N I C, cupids shooting arrows tipped with phallic hearts. You know, the, 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 the symbol of the penis. It's in your art. You know, the obelisk. You know, the church steeples. At the bottoms of young men. That's in the art. Although the church fought to reclaim both the cherubim and the sacred hearts, via the publication of visions of St. Teresa, another one, who confessed to have been pierced repeatedly in the heart by a divine arrow held by a winged angel. And she didn't die. You get shot hot multiple times in the heart and you didn't die. Until she moaned in ecstasy and lost control of her cardioid. That's the Catholic Church. That's your Valentine's. That's your heart worship. In 1948, Leonardo da Vinci produced the first accurate drawing of the human heart. Instead of following prior convention, you know, the, <laughs> the women's breast, the women, uh, he depicted it as a pine cone. Leonardo made a glass mold of the organ. That's 1498. We actually got the, the true drawing of the human heart. None of the other crap that still survives in 2021. As sugar became increasingly common in Europe during the 18th century, so creation of sweets and pastries and cakes with a hereto costly substance became widespread. Cultural centuries such as Vienna and Paris in Rocco style with emphasis and flowing buoyant and whistical applied to sweet meats for sweethearts. Oh. Here, honey, have some chocolate so you can get fat. And here's some chocolate because it makes you hot and horny. I brought it up today. Cherries. Oh, honey, like how you said that. Uh, we can't say the word piss out of the Bible, but we can allow this other nonsense. He used the word crap. And then you got secret Santas. Cherries who paired fruits have long been a symbol for lovers, and whose cross-section you come in half is a carioid, with proper ingredients and decoration for both bonbons and tarts, and, and two were strawberries. The, the habit of exchanging Valentine cards was boosted by introduction of the penny post. By the turn of the 20th century, millions were being sent each year most of the which featured the heart symbol somewhere in their design. In other words, it kept the post office in job. It's a postcard. We deliver for you. Heart shaped peepaw, P E E P A L leaves were used as an artistic depiction of the Indus Valley civilization. C I V I L I S A T I O N. A heart pendant originating from there has been discovered is now exhibited in the Dali National Museum. Nothing new about the heart, shape, symbol. The combination of heart, shape, and it's used with the heart metaphor de developed by the end of the Middle Ages, although the shape had been used by many ancient monuments and texts. The Egyptians, the Romans, the Greeks, and we'll move on. Uh, the first known depiction of the heart as a symbol for romantic love dates to the 1250s. Gatto, G-I-O-T-T-O, -T -T in his 1305 painting in the Scrovenian Chapel, C-S-C-R-O-V-E-G-N-I, shows an allegory of charity. Handing her heart to Jesus Christ. All these heart safe symbols is centered around a church, the Catholic Church, and gods. 
The heart is also depicted in a pine cone shape. Based on the anatomical descriptions of the of the day, which Leo the Leo Div uh, I can't say his name now, but it was still held upside down. Leo, Leo, no, Da Vinci guy. The convention of showing the heart pointed upwards switches in the 14th century and becomes rare in the first half of the 15th century. Stylized depictions of the features of the human female body, such as the female breasts, the buttocks, the public mound, the, the, the private area, and the spread of the vulva. I've seen some of those depictions on emblems of automobile back windows and bumpers. Ready for this one? The Luther Rose. Rose. You've seen this symbol. This Luther was also involved in Santa Claus too, so don't, don't get him 100% right. Luther was just a cleaned up Catholic. He had his catechism. He had his sacraments. The Luther Rose was a seal that was designed for Martin Luther at the behest of Prince John Frederick in 1530. While Luther was staying at the Coburg Fortress during the Diet of Augsburg, Luther wrote in an explanation of the symbol to Lazarus Springler, a black cross in a heart, which remains a natural color, so that I myself would remain that faith in the crucified saves uh, the crucified saves us. Then he quotes Romans 10 10. I don't think Romans 10.10 10 represents the symbol of women's breasts, women's private areas, and sex. Because he came out of the Roman Catholic Church. Inverted heart symbols have been used in heredity of uh, stylized testicles. That's the male anatomy. Now, you turn the heart picture over and then you look at the human male and you see the same thing the phallic symbol and this was also in a chanting arms of a family it was their crest inverted heart to make look like testicles Okay, we saved the best for last. And by the way, I have ancientsymbols.com copyright. I have Be My Valentine by Mark Forward, uh, 1997, Wikipedia Foundation. I got w John Woodward and George Burrick, uh, international book number. And then I have Gloria Steiner. Last drum roll, please. Da, da, da. The heart, the symbol of Valentine's Day, is actually a symbol for Nimrod. Da, da, da. The Romans acquired the heart symbol from the Babylonians, who spoke in the Chaldean tongue. And the language for the word heart was Baal or Bell. Bell or Baal Bell or Bell. You know, Baal, the Roman Catholic book they have in the Bible that doesn't belong in the Bible. The Bell of the God that's spoken about in Daniel. Uh, Belshazzar. Or how about Baal? B A L. Due to the similar sound of Baal, capital B A A L, became the emblem of Nimrod. And when you got the chocolates of Valentine's Day be given to the sweetheart and they get the rabbit out on Easter and they fornicate and adulterate themselves, she becomes pregnant and nine months later you celebrate a birthday. I'm this is all the truth. This is I give you documented evidence. You go back to my, my webpage and you get the Christmas and you get the Easter. 
before you get upset with me. This is documented true. Just as much as documented church history, but you'll find this in church history. Wrong church history. So, take my heart and throw it in a garbage can. It has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. And I'll get gold, silver, and precious stone. And if you keep it, you'll get wood, hay, or stubble. Stein, Dr. Stiley, William Hayward. 